Hi guys! Salamat sa inyong patuloy na ginagawang pagsubaybay dito sa ating discussions about mechanics of deformable bodies. At ngayon guys ay mayroon tayong niyandang problem para sa ating topic na statically indeterminate numbers. Guys, sa uh, patuloy niyo akong samahan sa pagkatsapang magitan nitong problem na ito ay makikita natin ang isang okay, approach techniques on how we can solve faster and easier this kind of problem. And here is our problem guys. Okay, in the problem we have a composite bar that is composed of steel bars and bronze bar and are rigidly connected to each other at point B. There is a gap between the bronze and the wall C initially and we are to compute for the stress developed in its material when an actual load of 100 kN is applied at B. So let me explain the problem guys. Ano? So we have here actually a composite figure composing of a steel bar and a bronze bar that are rigidly connected at point B. The steel bar is securely placed at uh, the wall at A and there is an initial gap of 0.3 between the end of the bronze and the wall at C. Now if there is an axial load of 100 kN that will be applied at B, what will be the stress that will be developed on the steel and on the bronze considering that the steel has an area of 200 square millimeter, a length of 1.2 meter and a modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascal. Similarly, the area of the bronze is 300 square millimeter, the length of uh, which is 0.8 and the modulus of elasti uh, elasticity equal to 83 gigapascal. So guys, uh, ang unang dating dapat itong maunawaan ay ano? Uh, alamin muna natin dito kung ano ba ang mangyayari dito sa ating composite bar. Because there is a gap and there is an applied load at a junction. The question is, ito kayang load that is applied at the junction is enough to, to make the bronze touch the wall. And that would happen if this uh, 100 kN would cause a deformation on the steel equal to that of the gap between the bronze and the wall because if we're going to show or animate what will happen this is what will happen to the figure okay kina natin mabuti itong mangyayari yan as we pull this uh, uh, stre uh, steel by a load of 100 kN the steel will be stretched okay and the bronze will touch okay, the wall and as the bronze touches the wall there is, okay, there is a deformation that is caused on the steel equal to that of the okay, gap between the bronze and the wall. Let us try to find it again. So if there is a load applied at the junction, the steel will be stretched, the bronze will touch. But the question is, is this 100 great enough to make this bronze touch the wall? In other words, is this great enough? To create a deformation on the steel equal to this magnitude of 0.3. And so we will be finding what would be the magnitude of the force that would be in making the steel be stressed by an amount of 0.3. Kaya kung sasubtitute natin sa formula, that deformation is equal to PL over AE. Knowing that the deformation is equal to 0.3, then we will, we will be finding the magnitude of P needed to create a deformation on the steel of 0.3. Substituting the value, then we shall be getting a P equal to okay, 12,500 newton. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin ito? This 12,500 newton or okay, a magnitude of 12.5 kilonewton will be enough to cause a a deformation on the steel of 0.3. But because the load is 100 kilonewton, therefore what conclusion can we derive? Then we can say that okay, the bronze will touch the wall at C at hindi lang basta magta-touch. It will also be subjected to the stress because the actual load is greater than 12.5. Meaning, there will further be okay, a compression on the bronze as this 100 is great enough. Okay? greater than 12.5 and as the bronze is compressed 
there will be a deformation and that the steel will further be okay, stretched. As shown by this okay, uh, animation, okay, when okay, these uh, bronze touches, there will still be further deformation. And then from here, we try to establish the relationship between the deformation. So from this station, from this condition, mapapasin natin that this position, the total deformation that is induced on the steel would be this amount. This deformation will be now called as the deformation of the steel. Whereas the bronze would have this deformation representing the deformation from this point up to that point. Kung saan yung ating uh, bronze ay na subject and that will be called as the deformation of the bronze. After we have established that relationship, what shall we do then? So, kinakailangan mag-formulate tayo ng equation so that okay, we shall be able to solve the problem. Una equation natin mag-formulate siguro ay yung manggagaling mismo sa condition of equilibrium. Okay, napasin natin na when the wall that the bronze touches the wall, okay, there was okay, a reaction that this wall is exerting. Aside from that uh, reaction exerted by the wall at A, there is a reaction exerted by the wall at C. And let us assume that this is treated as R sub 1 and this is our R sub 2 so that if we are going to consider okay, the whole structure as the free body diagram, therefore we shall be getting the relationship between R sub 1 and R sub 2 so that okay, in this equation we can find that okay, the sum of R sub 1 and R sub 2 will be equal to 100 a kilonewton or simply this is equivalent to 100,000 newton but what is this r sub 1 and r sub 2 in terms of the actual load acting on the steel and that of the bronze if we are to analyze and pass an exploratory section okay, anywhere on the steel and call this section AA and then we isolate this left part of the exploratory section so that we have here our isolated view you will find that this steel will be subjected to an internal force acting directed opposite that of R sub 1 causing the steel to be stressed because as you would find this P sub S is causing it to be subjected to tension and if we are to apply the condition of equilibrium for this isolated view of the left part of the exploratory section AA therefore we can find that R sub 1 is equal to P S meaning the actual load acting on the steel is actually equal to that of R sub 1. Similarly, if we will be applying the same to the bronze by passing an exploratory section BB somewhere here, and then we isolate this left part or right part, I mean, of this exploratory section so that we will find that that cut section of the bronze will be subjected to an internal force that would balance R sub 2. If R sub 2 is directed to the left, Therefore, we expect that there is an internal force acting on the bronze and this will be called as P sub B. The magnitude of this R sub 2 okay, can be expressed by applying the condition of equilibrium such that, such that summation of force horizontal will be equal to 0. So that R sub 2 here will be equal to P sub B. And so if we have okay, obtained that R sub 1 is equal to P sub S and R sub 2 equal to P sub B, therefore this can be substituted here. Ang mangyayari sa dito, we can have it, our equation that P sub S plus P sub B is equal to 100,000. And let this call be, let us call this equation as equation 1. And you will find that okay, this equation okay, have two unknowns, P S and P B. And we cannot anymore have additional equation. Hence, this condition, therefore, is what we call the condition of statically indeterminate because the number of unknowns greater than the number of equations formulated that, uh, considering the condition of equilibrium. Therefore, what shall we do then? Sabi dyan, we will be getting additional equation from the elastic deformations of those materials involved. Meaning, we will be getting what relation exists between the deformation of the steel and the deformation of the bronze. So that, we are to consider okay, this equation. Okay, assuming that we have this equation, this equation can further be uh, simplified by substituting that this PS be equal to the product of the stress multiplied by the area. So that this equation can be further formulated that 
okay, the stress of the steel multiplied by the air of the steel plus the stress of the bronze multiplied by the air of the bronze is equal to 100,000 newton and let this be called as equation 1 prime and so sabi ko nga if we will be getting now the geometric relation of elastic deformation of the materials involved what are those deformations you will find that this deformation of the steel okay, will be equal to this magnitude okay, the sum of the gap and the deformation of the bronze hence that would be equal to the deformation of the bronze plus 0.3 but again if this deformation will be substituted by the formula that, that is equal to PL over A, then the equation becomes PL over A of the steel equal to PL over A of the bronze plus 0.3. And because P over A is equal to the stress, this can be further okay, translated into the stress on the steel multiplied by L divided by E equal to the stress of the bronze okay, multiplied by L divided by E plus 0.3. And because all of this E, L are given, so we can substitute the value so that the stress of the steel multiplied by 1200 representing the length divided by 200 times uh, 200,000 megapascal is equal to the stress on the bronze expressed in terms of megapascal multiplied by the length of 800 divided by 83,000 megapascal plus 0.3. And you will notice that this unit will cancel this unit will cancel okay what would happen is that okay, we have a unit of millimeter consistent with the different units and so from here okay because we only have we have an expression of stress of s and stress of b we can simplify this so that our stress of the steel becomes equal to 1.6064 times stress of the bronze plus 50 and with this okay, equation with this relationship if this uh, relationship will be okay Substituted to our equation one prime. Okay, substituting stress ng steel dito. Therefore, our equation becomes okay, 1.6064 stress of B plus 50 representing this stress of the steel multiplied by the air of the steel of 250 given here in the problem. Plus the stress of the bronze multiplied by the 300 okay, given in the problem is equal to 100,000 newton. Okay, working for the stress of the bronze, the stress of the bronze can be computed to be at 124.73 megapascal. And if this will be substituted here, we can compute then for the stress of the steel so that the stress of the steel is equal to 250.36 megapascal. Kaya yeah, guys, uh, sana sa pamagitan niyang sample problem, okay, may clean sample problem na ipinakita ko sa inyo ay naiintindihan ninyo ngayon yung okay, uh, effective approach in dealing with statically indeterminate matter. Kaya yeah, guys, huwag ninyo akong iwan, patuloy niyo akong subaybayan sa pamagitan ng pag-subscribe sa ating channel so that whenever there are new uploads, you will always be notified. Once again, thank you very much for watching.